There are lots of heroes and villains in literature and I have plenty of favourites and not so favourites. But some of my actual favourite heroes are from real life. And in this book, Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, it features two of my favourite performers. And the first one is Maria Callas, who is an opera singer. Maria was a clumsy and unpopular girl. She was sure that her mother loved her sister more because her sister was slimmer, prettier and more popular than her. One day, Maria's mother discovered that her little daughter had an amazing voice. She encouraged Maria to sing in order to earn money for their family. Maria's mother tried to enrol her in the National Conservatory in Athens, but Maria was rejected because she'd never had any formal training. So her mother sent her to private lessons where she had a private singing teacher. When her teacher first heard her sing, she was speechless. It was the most amazing voice she had ever heard. Not only did Maria master all the difficult arias in a matter of few months, they're the songs that feature in opera, but her singing style went straight to the heart. Maria replied to the National Conservatory again, and this time she was accepted. One night, she made her debut on the stage of the most prestigious opera house in the world, La Scala in Milan. When she sang, the audience hung on to every note and every word as her voice carried them away to a place full of passion, rage, joy and love. At the end, they jumped to their feet, clapping and shouting and showered the stage with roses. Maria came to be known simply as La Divina, the Divine One, the most famous soprano ever. And she said, I will always be as difficult as necessary to, to achieve the best. And there is a picture of Maria Callas. And she is actually one of my favourite opera singers.